personal memories of the car was after training. It's more sort of the latter stage of my Wolves career um, when the younger lads had sort of gone off and gone home and usually me, Carl, Danny Bath and maybe a couple of others who would take to sort of the recovery baths. You've got the ice baths and the warm baths and the training ground and we'd end up sitting in there for, for a while just talking about all sorts of things in life and a lot of these times as well was when Wolves were going through difficult patches and we sort of felt a duty as the older pros to to be the ones on how are we going to get out of this and so many conversations happen between especially the three of us and Richard Stearman as well and players like that on how we can sort of guide the Wolves ship out of trouble um, and he's just a, a great honest guy that you um, everyone who's come across him would have so much time for him. I remember doing a session one day where we had an under 14 Joe Young who's at Wolves now uh, who came in and trained with just me and Carl when Carl was recovering from another injury um, and Carl did the full hour and a half session with him, took part, served for him, sat him down afterwards, spoke to him, showed him around the, the training ground, changing rooms, everything. It was fantastic for Joe but it was just a mark of sort of how good a professional Carl was. It's funny because like when he first came in Carl you saw him as, I saw, saw him as a little bit as a younger brother, we're both half Nigerian um, you know, the amount of times that when he was younger, he'd get confused for me. As he started to play more games, I'd get confused to him. Um, you know, people would say, oh, he's, he, he was gone, yeah, Carl Ikeem. And I'd go, no, it's Matt Murray and that. And people would have, you know, that sort of banter. I remember the times when we used to go around the training ground and uh, if anyone cheeked us, then, you know, David Davis could probably tell you a story about when we shaved his head because he was uh, very, very cheeky. So um, he'd done a few weights in the gym as a young lad. And D D was, you know, Digger was quite a strong lad, but kept pushing it, kept pushing it. So uh, me and Carl taught him a little lesson and shaved half his head. So he had to go home on the bus with half a head shaved. So he'll probably smile about that. There was one time when um, I think we were training, I think it was maybe like, it was a light session, Sunday morning session, I think it was. Um, and we, I think we were playing like a five-a-side game, two different teams. Um, and I just remember Lee Griffiths turning around to Carl and, and sort of saying something a bit out of, out of turn to him. And all of a sudden you just saw Carl stepping out his goal and literally the gloves just dropped off his hands and he was just, he was just ready for Lee. Obviously Lee's about this big and um, I didn't, don't think he fancied his chances to be honest. But um, yeah, that was, that was Carl. So. You've got the infamous tactics board where at half time against, um, oh, I can't remember who it was, it might be Bristol City actually, where he's got a little bit aggressive. Um, he's a strong guy, Carl, and he does a lot of boxing and he went to punch a tactics board, but unfortunately for him, he, he punched right down the centre where one of the supporting steel bars was. And uh, the, the tactics board was in a mess, but Carl's hand was broken at half time. So there's that incident which will stick out sort of in everyone's mind. Look, we always got on great with everybody. We had a little bit of fun. There was another time as well when Mort, the kit man, He's security as well, but he was giving us a bit of banter and we, we sat him in a prickly bush. So, uh, yeah, me and Keynes, if we, if we tag teamed you, you were, uh, yeah, you were in trouble. But look, we, we did loads and loads of good gym sessions together. We always trained well, pushed each other. And as I say, when, I was, when, I, when he first came, I sort of saw him as a, a bit of like, a, like your younger brother, as I say, but really, really good friends. But do you know what? He always ruins me on Sky. Whenever I'm going to wear a blue suit on Sky, I think, I look through all my suits and think, not a blue one. Even though I've got four or five blue suits, it doesn't matter. Keem thinks I've only got one. So every time I do Sky and it's a blue suit, I know I'm going to turn on my WhatsApp, my phone, and there's a picture of me. Blue suit again, blue suit again. So look, Keem, I'm wearing all black today, geese. All right, so don't come for me.